So far, we've seen what happens when fire and explosive gases meet up. Even when a gas grill is open, cooling propane can turn the grill into a massive fireball. But we want to see what else could happen to an unlucky griller. What if you accidentally left a propane grill turned on in your car and then lit a cigarette? Would the car catch on fire or even explode? We've come to the county sheriff's training center to find out. Okay, here's the back seat barbecue. Our buddy Sebastian is a little singed from the last experiment, but is always willing to be our designated driver. Man, Sebastian, don't you know that smoking's bad for you? Uh, what do you guys think? I don't think it's gonna blow out all the windows, but I definitely think Sebastian's gonna have a little facial in there. Honestly, I'm a little terrified to see if it actually works because every day you drive a car. But what if you forget? Oh, well, that's what happened, so. I would be very nervous for Sebastian. At the very least, let's hope Sebastian learns a valuable lesson. <laughs> with the fire department and the bomb squad standing by, we're ready to fill the car with propane. And start. Starting to fill. T minus two minutes. Once the car fills up with propane, the team lights it up. What do you have in there? Just like the equivalent of a cigarette lighter? Yeah, they just press a button on the machine and it makes a small spark, just really tiny, like just single match. That's all it does. Firing in three, two, one, fire. Whoa! Oh, whoa. whoa. Hey, yes. that was really cool. Hey. That was like exactly <laughs> what you expected. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> That, that was, was good. Awesome. It, it, awesome. Awesome. that was so good. Awesome. It did. That was, awesome. that was wild. I love that you could basically see the shockwave without even having high speed. Like, that was visual to the naked eye. That story checks out. I mean, it just blew the windows out, and it looks like the car is just fine. Yep. So what's interesting here is that we had a ton of pressure. We blasted out the windows, but the fire was just there and gone. What's also kind of neat is that the farthest window from where the explosion started was actually blown out first, which means that all of the explosion was shot towards the back and then it kind of like filled in towards the front. 